Hi, I'm David with Hanson Carlin Architecture and Construction, and today I'm going to show you about our new Zip R sheeting system and a few little other miscellaneous tips on it. So we have um, this. Uh, we have the. Um, we're doing the Zip 2.0 where we put the liquid flash membrane on, and we've we've applied that onto all of the joints and all the nail holes. The instructions say you don't need to put it on the nail holes, but we're doing it just because we think it might be a good idea. But one of the, one of the issues is, is, is um, how to finish off the bottom here. You know, this sheeting is an extra, this is a R9, and so it's an extra inch thicker than regular sheeting. And we were wondering how we wanted to finish this off. One of the things I really didn't like was the way this foam is exposed to, I don't know, possibly maybe a rodent or something could chew through it. Uh, and so, we have this bent up from our metal supplier. It's just a piece of, of flashing here. And we're going to attach this onto the onto the onto the bottom of the house here, and we're going to put the the membrane flashing on here and attach it to the wall. And then we're going to just take and we're going to put the the liquid flash all over this so that we have um, just a, a real positive joint for not only an air seal but a, a water seal and a rodent seal. To this product. So I suppose everybody has an idea and that was ours on this one. Everybody knows that if you're, when your house gets uh, moisture it's usually right along the bottom and so if we get that sealed real well we uh, we know that, that the house will will last the 150 years or whatever that we're aiming for.